make this. I was gonna make this steering wheel go lower for you, but I can only pull it out like crazy. Anyhow, hello and welcome back for another this person. I wanted to well I don't know, I have like new subscribers and I always feel like when I'm videoing or like filming a YouTube video that I'm literally talking to a friend. So it's like you're all my new friends, and you might not know really anything about me. So I thought this is a good opportunity while I'm waiting to sort of explain a few things that I wonder if people wonder about. So firstly, if you're wondering what my name is, it's the same name as my YouTube channel. My name is Catherine. I am married to lovely Ben who has the same last name as me, and together we have 10 children. So first thing I wanna say is, if you're wondering about like my accent seems strange, because I think it's strange. I listen to myself sometimes and think, where are you even from? I was born in Australia, but when I was a young child, I lived in Canada. So I have dual citizenship, and I ended up with this weird accent where some words are like really strongly Australian and all the rest kind of sound like a TV show. I... So that explains the weird accent. Ben is Aussie born and bred. And the next question you might be wondering is, am I really 22? Because I say that in videos that I'm 22 years old. My oldest child is 17. And my youngest child is three. Yes, yes, I am 22 years old. And I'm just always going to be 22 forever, okay? So don't go trying to, to question that. Just don't. I won't change for no one. Probably the biggest question I think a lot of people wonder, because I get asked it in real life, is did I always want to have 10 kids? And the answer is yes and no and not really and yeah. So growing up, I always wanted at least four children. I thought four kids sounds great, right? Fast forward, meet my husband, we start talking about do you want to have kids? And he was like, sure. And I'm like, sure. How many? And I'm thinking maybe you sort of try to say five because he's the youngest of five. And I was like, how many kids do you want to have? And he's like, I don't know, like six. Fantastic. Tick, marry that man, marry him instantly. So we got married. I really wanted to have a baby like straight away because I felt like I was so old. So despite the fact that I'm now 22, I was 23 when I got married. Four months after we were married, I fell pregnant and that is now my 17 year old. I had to have an emergency cesarean, it was not in my plan. I wanted to have one of those like, you know, soft music playing. I'd made a playlist of like relaxing music and it didn't turn out that way. I ended up with an emergency cesarean. Do not recommend, but it's just the way it was. And I was like, are all hopes dashed? Am I never going to have the chance to have my large family? Is that it? Because, you know, everyone says, oh, I thought you could only have three. And then they tell you not to have any more. So long story short, through the triple effort of a wonderful, godly, talented obstetrician, my husband and myself, my body healed very well that I was able to ultimately have 10 cesareans. It's, that's just what I've ended up with. I would never have had a cesarean if I didn't have to, but I had to, and then I had 10. So I don't know, it was strange, because my first, so my children's genders are like, boy, girl, girl, boy boy and then four girls and then the baby is a boy and I do know that 
by the time we had baby number seven and it was another girl, we really wanted to have another boy, but we had two more girls. And then we had a boy. So things always work out the way I think they're meant to work out. I never in my life thought that I would even have one daughter, let alone six. Like, that's just amazing. So, yeah, I, I guess that's a really long-winded way of saying that my husband and I didn't really have much more of a conversation past the how many kids do you want to have? We both knew we wanted to have a large family. We've thoroughly enjoyed having all of our children, having a large family. We ended up with 10 children and we haven't had any more children. It does bother me that people think, oh, you finally got the memo, like 10 is enough. I don't know. It's just... I'm probably ultra sensitive because over the years I've heard many comments regarding my fertility, my relationship with my husband, our sex life, our children, and I just feel like going, just do your own life. I don't know, like I find people that have two kids fascinating because that's another unique amazing person with two unique amazing children. It doesn't matter how many kids you have or you don't have. I think there is a problem when you get far too opinionated about other people's kids. You make false assumptions and yet you're not actually involved in their lives at all. Like I know that sounds, it probably sounds really harsh, doesn't it? Like everyone is totally entitled to their opinion, 100%. Is that all the information that my brain has inside of it? Probably. Did I always want to have 10 kids? Was it all planned? It's amazing. It's honestly amazing. I'm one person. I've had 10 pregnancies and I have 10 babies. And I've had 10 cesareans. Like, that's incredible. I do not have a six pack. I never had rock hard abdabas. I'm working on losing my extra abadabas oh i did think of one thing that i wanted to talk about it's reading so i'll end with this i and i've started reading again and i'm like wow i used to read all the time when i was a kid probably because i didn't have a phone <laughs> i used to read a lot and i've finished two books both not extremely long and then joy was talking on her YouTube channel about books she's read. Joy, you're amazing. You read so many books and I'm just like, oh my goodness. I didn't even really know how to spell Jane Eyre. Like I kept looking at it like E-Y-R-E, -E? is that it? And is it Eyre? Yeah. E-R-E, Eyre. Joy has sort of uh, lit a fire under me of like, let's just read some books and Knowing that Joy is reading books as well, I'll, I don't know. I'll try to join in with you and see how I go, Joy, but you're the super reader. Like you, first of all, you leave your house for things other than just picking up your kids. Oh, I suppose I could have, I could be reading right now. I got to remember that for next time. And it's Friday. Wonderful, wonderful Friday. Although my kids work on the weekends and I drive them to work because public transport doesn't start early enough because I live in the sticks. There you go. There's your riveting, amazing update. With me looking away a lot, I honestly, I feel like I do that when I'm even talking to people in real life. I'm not like intently looking into their eyes the whole time it's just weird is it or should i do this should all of my videos be just like me full on staring straight at you maybe but yes have a wonderful time i want to say weekend yeah maybe we'll leave it at that have a great weekend and I will, I will go. <laughs> if you have anything that you wish to chime in about, 
was this interesting? Do you have 17 children? Did you wonder things about me? Do you wonder things about me? Do you have questions? Ask them in the comments below and I will either answer them in the comments or do a video on it. Or if someone asks a question in the comments and you then read it and think that's a good question, you can do all these like you like it i think you like it and then i'll know i don't i'm so <laughs> so no idea thank you for watching my video if oh and if you're reading books tell me what books you're reading i will put in the description box the books that i plan on reading and it will be tremendous and we'll all become so bookish together have a wonderful weekend i hope you can get a nap because I'm on the napping team and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Are you really glad that I managed to film this non-rattling, non-loud and my thing didn't fall off the windscreen? Yeah, I'm glad too.